I've always wanted you to have a fairy garden. Yeah. Good morning. You guys, I've just been out here enjoying the most beautiful Idaho morning, and of course, I wanted to share it with you. Seriously, the peace that I feel in this town is like, ha, ah, just God sent. Also, clearly, I am losing my voice. I slept with my window open, because in Utah, it does not cool off that much at night, but here it does. So I slept with my window open. My throat's kind of hurting, but we'll be okay. We got a lot of fun things planned today. Jeannie went home, unfortunately, yesterday, so we're gonna totally miss him, but we've got five more days in Idaho. We need to pack them to the fullest. All the kids are still asleep. I put them to sleep last night at seven. Literally by 7.07, .07, all my kids were in bed. Palmer got up for a little bit, but she was in bed. And they are still sleeping. It's almost eight o'clock. They needed it. After all the crazy activities we did, they really, really needed it. So the crew is awake, and they are playing with game pieces, but no game board. Because that makes sense. Cool fort, bud. Where's my guy? And my mom has something really fun planned for the kids. So we are going to make a fairy garden. Hey guys, do you want to go see what grandma has for you? Go. Okay, you build. Whoa! It's a fairy garden. How cool, huh? Should we go make a fairy garden in grandma's backyard? Yeah. Is it a toy? Uh, they're not toys, so what they are is we create a place where fairies can come to visit. So like we put all this fairy stuff out in grandma's backyard and fairies can come live here and we can build them houses and we can leave them out little snacks. Isn't that cool? Are we gonna build our own ah. fairy things? We can, but first we're gonna start by just putting this stuff out and creating the fairy garden. The girls are exploring, trying to figure out the best place to put a fairy garden. I'm thinking over here under this tree would be a really magical place, so we'll see how they feel about that. But they are just exploring, looking for the next fairy garden. Well, Did we decide on a spot, ladies? Yes. Pete. Oh, yeah. Did we decide on a spot? Yep. Can you show me where it's at? Don't go in the grass? Yeah, it will get hurt. All right, Paige, show me where we've picked for our fairy garden. So, we picked this and then this. Oh. We're going to decorate for like. I Christmas love tree. it. And then this is going to be like our cool, cute little Christmas tree. And Christmas all year round. I like it. Yeah, like here's our. Christmas tree, and if it's raining really bad, then they're gonna Ooh. hide in this little thing. But we're oh, gonna put like beaver that's a good stuff. idea. So the fairies can hide in here if it's raining really bad. And do you know why this spot is lucky? My favorite dog is buried under there. <laughs> Her name was Lady. Okay, we digress. Let's continue. So we're gonna build our fairy garden right over here. Yes? Do you need some attention? Whoa, careful there. What's going on? Would you like up? Can you say the word up? Up. Ah! Whoa. What? There's a worm in our fairy garden. Worms are good luck. Are you jumping, Palmer? Whoa! <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the worm. Do 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 the worm. Oh, that's how you do the worm. Well, they were teaching us. Oh my gosh. So Beckham just bumped his head 
he got off to come over and give me a hug. He was feeling a little sad, and Palmer started crying, came over, got his hand, and walked him back over to the tramp. It was so cute. Are you so happy to have your brother play in? All right, I've got some big leaves for blankets. Who wants to use some big leaves for beds and blankets? <gasps> and it, look, you guys, look how good this is. This looking. is gonna be a pool. Oh, this good idea. Be a pool for the house. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so great. <gasps> I think we're gonna have a lot of little fairies come to visit. Is this so fun? Yeah! I've always wanted you to have a fairy garden. Yeah. This is awesome. Okay, Henry. So, Grandma said we couldn't have that get wet. I was thinking we could like put a leaf on top of it, so then it wouldn't get the stuff dirty. And it's looking good, guys. The part of the, the fairy garden is that it smells like onions. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> so the kids are over here sneaking out their parade candy. Look at all Guys. this. Let's show them all your parade candy. Guys. Is this just the parade candy? Yeah, this is just parade candy from the 4th of July. So they have all this parade candy and grandma had the great idea that we could build pinatas to put the candy in. I said no more candy. But I'm not gonna eat it. You're not gonna eat it? What are you gonna do with it then? It's for the tooth fairy. Oh, yes. Well, the tooth fairy loves candy because it makes kids' teeth rot and fall out. For the pinata, here's our options. We could each do our own, or you guys can just do one and work together. One, oh. Do you wanna make your own or do you wanna work together? You wanna make your own? You're so cute. Should we make our own? No. You want to work on sissies? No, work on mine. You want to make your own? Okay, do you want yours to be a circle and you can paint it like a ball? Yeah. And do you want yours to be a star? Mm. Sure. Sure. I thought that that was supposed to be for the tooth fairy. But you said I got out of it. <laughs> Say, ah, uh, ah. oh. Have you guys seen these new Starburst? Blue raspberry lemonade, they're actually really good. And then they have a watermelon strawberry strawberry one. Actually really good. They also had a bag of just pinks. And but not like all the gross pink wait, ones, wait. just the good And pink. I'll show you something, this looks so good. Yep, yeah, but we're not gonna eat it, huh? Fine. Not right now. Oh, what is it? Flour and water. For the pinata, we're just doing flour and water. Glad you're the one who makes that, not me. <laughs> Yummy. All right, this one's gonna be Beckham's. So you take the newspaper, make it into strips. We've got our pile of strips here. And then you tie the string all the way around the balloon so that you have a string to hang the pinata from. So you take the strip, coat it with plenty of paste, and then just apply it right here. Baba, what are you gonna make your pinata? You don't want to get dirty? Oh but no, we need to move to a field so that you can practice getting really dirty. We're gonna get dirty, it's gonna be fun. And then when you take a bat and you bust this sucker open and there's candy everywhere, think of how exciting that will be. So Beckham's first layer is drying. We'll continue to add layers. I don't know, probably today and tomorrow. We'll see how much time we have. And then we'll let him paint it and we'll bust this open, huh bud? Peyton's over here starting hers. Hers is a star-shaped balloon. This is gonna be awesome. This is the red plane balloon from, um, uh, for the drive. Then we just... It's gonna be awesome, sis. Right after we got them with our pinatas, Peyton ran out on the back porch and she got hurt, huh? Can you tell them what happened? My got smashed. 
so her toe got smashed under the door. You can't see it really because it's under band-aids. But she peeled away like half the skin on her toe, huh? So we are going to finish off this day by watching a movie together in Grandma's basement and cuddling and taking good care of our big sister, huh? Because she always takes such good care of all of us. So can you say good night? Good night. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. She's going to just be all better tomorrow, huh? Yeah. And you... We'll take good care of you too, yeah. but just because you're cute. What about you? What are you sucking on? Say bye. <laughs> bye.